Today is episode 62 of the Mr. Men Little Miss Book Readings, and today I'm going to go start with Little Miss Tidy. Little Miss Tidy was an extraordinarily tidy person. Little Miss, in Little Miss Tidy's house, everything had its place, and she had a huge handbag, which she would fill with all sorts of things until she had time to put them away tidily. It's a nice triangle shape, isn't it? Then there were all her boxes. She had small ones, medium-sized ones, big ones, enormous ones, round ones, and square ones. And this was where Little Miss Tidy tidied away all her things. It's a lot of boxes. Nothing was ever left lying around in her house. Now, with all this tidying up going on, you would think that Little Miss Tidy was perfect, wouldn't you? Well, she isn't! On Monday, at nine o'clock, she telephoned Mr Clever. As you are so clever, she said, could you tell me where I put my hairbrush when I tidied up? On Tuesday, at ten o'clock, she telephoned Mr Mean. As you like money so much, she said, could you tell me where I put my purse when I tidied up? On Wednesday, at 11 o'clock, she telephoned Mr Strong. As you like eggs so much, she said, could you tell me where I put my boiled egg when I tidied up? And on Thursday, at 12 o'clock, she telephoned Mr Nosy. As you are always poking your nose into things, she said, could you tell me where I put my serving spoon when I tidied up? And on Friday, she didn't telephone anybody because she had tidied away her telephone and she had to run all the way to little Miss Chatterbox's house. As you love using the telephone, she said, could you tell me where I put my telephone where I tidied up? Luckily, thanks to all her friends, little Miss Tidy was able to find all the things she had lost that week. Her hairbrush was in a glove box. Her purse was in a shoe box, her boiled egg was in the salt pot, her serving spoon was in the toolbox, <laughs> and her telephone was in her sewing box. <laughs> That's silly, isn't it? You can see, Little Miss Tidy certainly was very absent-minded when it came to remembering where she had to put things when she was tidying up, but she couldn't help it. <laughs> She's put pegs in the flower pot. That's silly. On Saturday, it was her birthday, and Little Miss Chatterbox came to her house, carrying a splendid-looking parcel, all tied up with bright red ribbon. Little Miss Tidy couldn't wait to see what was inside the present. Do you know what it was? I'll tell you. It was a notebook and pencil. The perfect present for somebody who lost things as easily as Little Miss Tidy. That's very clever, isn't it? Little Miss Tidy was as happy as well as happy as Mr Happy. She spent the rest of the day opening all her boxes and writing down in a notebook everything that she had stored away in them. It was very late by the time she had finished her list. She went to bed very, very tired. On Sunday morning, she woke with a start. My notebook and pencil, she cried. Wherever did I put them when I tidied up? I think we know what's going to happen, don't we? Poor little Miss Tidy spent all day Sunday looking for her notebook and pencil. She had to open and close all her boxes again. And do you know where she eventually found her notebook and pencil? It what? They were. On her bedside table. How silly. Well, I hope you like this story.